not a growing concern surrounding longhorn ticks after one was found with an infection for the very first time. NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Cuevas is in New Haven with what you need to look out for. We know these longhorn ticks have been in Connecticut since about 2018, but now researchers here at the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station say that they are a cause for concern due to their resilient nature and their ability to reproduce on their own. What we are reporting is the first evidence of infection of longhorn tick with a pathogen that is called Ehrlichia chaffiensis. It appears longhorn ticks just got more dangerous. Medical and entomologist Gudars Malai says the pathogen has existed for years in Lone Star ticks, but now that it's been found in longhorn ticks, it poses a greater concern due to the extremely high population. This tick species is uh, capable of transmitting uh, at least 30 different pathogens in its native range and invasive area. It is associated with fever, headache, muscle pain. Molai says with Connecticut's growing tick population, people will need to keep an eye out for longhorn ticks in some unexpected areas, including beaches. Populations of this tick species is very common, maybe in about 50 meter or 100 meter away from the bodies of water. He adds in these past four to five years, the longhorn tick has expanded throughout Fairfield and now New Haven County. You know, as, as the deer population explodes, uh, even in urban areas, uh, ticks are something to watch out for. Sometimes you might not even realize um, where you are, you can still get them. And maybe if you do have one attached to you, you won't even realize. In New Haven, Jennifer Cuevas, NBC, Connecticut News.